As your machine breaks in over time, we may need to adjust the needle positioning speed. If your needle up down speeds up, what we'll get is what I like to call the energizer bunny, where our needle goes, keeps going and going and going and doesn't want to stop. When the machines are brand new, the belts are tight, the gears are tight, it's really hard for the machine to complete that positioning function. So we set the circuit boards to give the motor enough power to position your needle as it's supposed to. As the machine breaks in, it gets easier for the machine to move, but the motor is still getting all that power. And that's how we get our Energizer Bunny. Very easy adjustment for us to stop. If it happens to you, what you can do, this machine has a flywheel cover, but on the other side, if you were to put your hand against the flywheel when the machine is running like that with the positioner, put a little pressure on that flywheel and that will allow that machine to catch up and the circuit boards will stop the motor the way it's supposed to. Then you don't have to worry about racing around to the back end of the machine to turn the power off. This machine is needing the adjustment. So we have the Energizer Bunny loose. This is what it'll look like and sound like. Just like it's not really sewing at full speed, but you can tell it's having a hard time finding that position. So if you put a little pressure on the flywheel, that will allow the machine to catch up and it will position correctly long enough for us to do the adjustment to the circuit board. For the 2007 and earlier machines, our circuit board is located underneath the long cover on the top of the machine. To make our adjustment, we don't need to take both covers off, but we do need to take out the two screws on both sides of the machine that hold this front cover in place, and you may need to loosen the third screw at the back. We'll get those screws out for you now. Now that we've got the screws removed from the front cover, make sure that your machine is turned off before we lift up the cover to expose our circuit boards. This is an adjustment that you will want to make after your machine has been warmed up well, running at least 10 minutes. Most times what you'll notice with the Energizer Bunny is it doesn't occur until later in the day after you've been running your machine for a while. So now we're just going to lift up our front cover so we can expose our circuit boards. Making sure that the power is off, when you lift the front cover up, sometimes you can short the back of the cover out on the motor won't hurt you, but it'll give you a surprise. Lift the cover gently up to expose the circuit board. And our number eight screw, heard people talk about that on the chat site, number eight screw is right here on the front end of the machine. Here's our number eight screw, right here at the front of the machine. And we will need our small flat blade screwdriver to turn the screw. Clockwise rotation on the screw will slow the positioner down counterclockwise on the screw will speed it up. Since we have the Energizer Bunny who keeps going and going, we need to slow the positioner function down. So we're going to turn this screw clockwise. It may take two, three, sometimes even four revolutions on the screw to get our position set correctly. The ideal time lapse for the machine to position is a full second to go from needle up position to needle down position. Whatever adjustment it takes on this little brass screw to get the machine to take a full second to go from needle up to needle down, that's what you're looking for. A lot of times customers will just make a small enough adjustment on that screw just to stop the bunny, but the more the machine breaks in, then you're coming back in again and doing the adjustment, and again and again, and eventually you can wear out this little screw. So just make sure you make a nice big adjustment on that screw for the first time then it may be six months to a year before you have to come back in and do the adjusting again. Now when I do the function on the machine for our needle position, we can see that it's taking us a full second to go from needle up to needle down. So if you count in your head, 1,001, your needle will go up, 1,001, it should go down. That's the ideal positioning speed for the machines.